Hey YouTube, it's Chris with Almost Precision, and I uh, wanted to talk to you about my last range day and some reduced recoil reloads. So I took my Savage 116 to the range just to uh, plink around a little bit, and brought my hunting loads, some uh, Sierra Game Kings 165 grain, see there. And not too bad, got it sighted in at 100 yards. It was a fun time, but as you saw, the rifle's kind of a lightweight. So it uh, kicked the shit out of me, to put it lightly. Um, is what it is, does it every time. But while I was there, shot the rest of those uh, Game Kings, and... Decided to try my reduced recoil rounds and see how they felt. And I gotta say, they were a lot nicer than my hunting loads. You see here, I shot the 35 grain of 4895. Again, with the Sierra Game Kings. And accuracy was okay. They shot a little low. But they felt so much better. Like, I could shoot those all day. And after just a couple rounds of uh, my Varget loads with the Sierra Game Kings, I was sore. So, let's talk about how to make a reduced load. Reduced recoil load. And I'll post links in the description so you guys can read this for yourselves. But the gist of it is, Hogden has specific guidelines for making reduced recoil loads. And the first one we're going to talk about is using IMR Trail Boss for reduced loads. So with Trail Boss, from what I've seen, when you're making these reduced loads, it takes you down to the subsonic or just above supersonic range and the methodology is the trail boss is real slow burning stuff it was originally made for lead bullets but they've crafted up all these loads for copper case projectiles and they have published data you'll find it in the hogden books on the hogden website so you can get very specific loading data for trail boss but the gist of it is you want to fill the case up to the base of the bullet. You don't want to compress this load at all because that is very dangerous with Trail Boss. But just to the base of where the bullet sits when you seat it. And that's your maximum charge. And you can go down to about 70% of that charge. And that should be a good starting point. And that'll give you your load range for Trail Boss. But like I said, that keeps your velocities really low because of the nature of the powder. But moving on to what I used, the H4895. And keep in mind that H4895 is not the same as IMR4895. So if you're doing this, make sure you're using H4895. And as you can see here, this is the official letter from Hogden about H4895 and reduced recoil loads. And their methodology is anything, any cartridge that you can put 4895 in and there's published data for, you can download that up to 60% of the load. So if you have published data or you look up the data on Hogden's website and your bullet and case combination is there with 4895, you can make that a reduced recoil load by using up to 60% of the max load. And I gotta tell you, if you just wanna spend the day plinking with your, during a Wim Mag, or in my case, my 30-06 lightweight rifle, it's definitely worth it. Um, you might have to re-zero your scope a little, or adjust 
but it makes it so much more enjoyable. Well, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, check out the Facebook page too. Uh, the link will be in the description. Till next time.